Are you looking to edit video on your iPhone, but you don't know which apps or tools to use? Well, this guy right here did all the research. And how many did you look at? I looked at probably, let's call it a dozen. A dozen, time. wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. And so what are the main, the best ones that you found? The best ones that I love and I use, iMovie, okay. Cut Story, Quick, and Kind Master. Kind Master. Not awesome. kind. Kind master. Okay. Yes. So if you want to know all the details about those apps and why this guy likes them the best, stick around because we're going to go into detail in just a little bit. So I'm Evan with your local studio. I've got here with me Kevin Colby from Kevin Colby Media. What up? What up? So we're talking today about video editing apps on iPhone. This guy has found a small handful of some of the best of the best I have. of the best. I have. I awesome. Have. Say those again. What were okay. those that you so, liked? So iMovie, Cut Story, Quick, and Kind Master. Cool. And so they all have the kind of different features and stuff that they kind all, of set them yeah. apart. Yeah, they all do different things. Now, one disclaimer. Okay. Um, I do edit on my iPhone, but because I've got fat little thumbs. Ah. Can you see them? <laughs> um, it's, it's not my absolute go-to. Okay. Um, I use it when I need it. Um, you can also trim literally just within the video, but it's just that's all you can do. Gotcha. I'd rather be on a desktop or a laptop, but when I need to edit on my iPhone, this is what I use. Awesome. So let's start with uh, maybe like a free one. If somebody wants to try out a app that's totally free, they don't want to spend any money, which one would that be? iMovie. iMovie, okay. Yeah. Hands iMovie. down. Hands down, and I'll, I'll tell you why. I mean, you get it with your iPhone, and if it, I know at one point it came installed. If it didn't, you can download it for free. Uh, don't pay for it. It's a really basic editor. Okay. Uh, you can add video. You can add audio. They actually have music in there. There's ah, filters. You can cool. add some titling to it, but it's basic. You can add transitions. They have, and again, all this is pre-programmed in there, which is really kind of a cool thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you've never used Final Cut Pro 10. It'll be kind of like, I, I've never seen this. Mm. If you've used Final Cut or even iMovie on, on a desktop or laptop, it's the same type of thing. Gotcha. So kind of like Final Cut Lite. It is. It is. Yeah. It's okay. nice, but you can go in and trim clips and everything. Again, and a lot of these have this in common. When you're done, you can then share it to Facebook okay. or Instagram or Twitter Andy. or YouTube, depending on, on what you've got integrated in there. Or you can save it to your camera roll, which is a lot of times what I end up doing, and yeah. then I fool with, fool with it later. Yeah, okay. So what about any other free ones that you found? Or was that just the main one? Uh, Quick is free. Okay. Uh, now, Quick, if you if you've heard of, if you have a GoPro, have heard of GoPro, it's, it's really the GoPro app. Oh, okay. But you don't need GoPro to use it. Good to know. Um, Quick is, is limited on how long the clip will be. Uh, in fact, even in the timeline, it'll show you like, in the length of the clip, okay, this is perfect for Instagram. This is perfect for oh, this. Interesting. It has music built in, it has filters built in, and it kind of like creates the movie for you. Okay. Uh, you can move things around. Uh, something we should note too, that for these apps, you can do video, you can do photos, or uh -huh. you can do a combination. So there may be somebody watching this that, you know, I just really shoot photos. I don't shoot a lot of video. So can I use it for that? Absolutely. Awesome. Cool. Now, what about stuff that's more like paid? Maybe someone wants to invest some money in some, some good tools. What are some like paid options out so there? So there's Kind Master. Now, okay. Kind Master has a free version. That's what I actually have on my phone because I'm, what's the word? Cheap. Oh, mm, okay. <laughs> Frugal, cheap, yeah. whatever. But you can do the uh, the the, uh, the free version. You have uh, most of the capabilities of it. Uh, it will have their watermark, which uh, is okay. just a fancy word for yeah. logo, on there. Um, it runs about, I think it's about 40 bucks. Uh, it's pricey, yeah. so you can do it annual or you can do it by, by month. Uh, okay. So you could also try it out if you don't like it, then you just cancel it or yeah. you go back to the free. It does a lot more. You can, what I call stacking clips, oh, add right, a right. lot more texture to okay. it and graphics. So if you're looking for a lot more robust editor, like maybe something a little bit more than iMovie, that would actually be a good choice. Okay. Any others that you found that were really, that fit into this category of paid, better tools? I love one called Cut Story. Cut Story. Um, which actually is doing what you think it might. It's cutting, editing the videos for stories. Oh. So what happens is, uh, we actually we actually practiced this. We did, yes. You know, we you can shoot a video, uh, doesn't matter how long your video is, and it doesn't matter what format you shoot it in, whether you shoot it in, you know, uh, hor uh, landscape, horizontal, vertical, doesn't matter. You bring it into Cut Story, you tell it what format you want, and then when you go edit, 
it says, okay, where do you want to share it? Do you want to share it to uh, Snapchat or Facebook or Instagram? It's all stories. I choose Instagram a lot. You yeah. hit edit, and it literally cuts your video into the exact length it needs. So if it ends up being four or five videos, puts them in order. Now, there are limitations to the free. You can't add music. You can't add your logo, and okay. you can't take the cut story watermark off. I find, though, that I don't use any of those. I, a lot of times for things like this, I don't put music behind anyway. Okay. It's a really cool little app. Nice. So definitely have some automatic features for somebody who maybe doesn't want to spend a lot of time manually yep. doing yep. stuff. Yes. Kind of just does it for yep. you. And yep. Awesome. Okay. Now, what about somebody who maybe wants something really advanced, like more closer to Final Cut Premiere, that kind of thing? What, anything you found out there? So, LumaFusion, um, I haven't downloaded. I think it's 20 bucks. It's a one-time only, which I like better yeah. than the subscriptions, yeah. which a lot of apps have gone to, and I just, I, I personally don't like that. That's one reason I switched over to Final Cut Pro. I got tired of renting <laughs> other things. Gotcha. Uh, but LumaFusion is supposed to be like the bomb. Okay. It is supposed to almost mimic, from what I can understand, a, a robust desktop editor. Sometimes I think, for me, it's a little harder to manipulate that small. Gotcha. But it'll do that. And then I've also, and I think you had more experience with this, with uh, Adobe's. Yes, Adobe Premier Rush. Yes. Yeah. Fairly new, yeah. Um, quick little note, it allows you to edit on the go. So if you got stuff on the desktop you're working on, um, you can download the corresponding iPhone app version, and you can just kind of pick up where you left off on the go. So, And that's uh, a cool feature. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool feature. I mean, iMovie does not integrate with Final Cut Pro. Now, you could get it to Final Cut Pro. Right. And that with any of these, you know, once you've got it here, you can always bring it into an editor if you want to do more. But probably by that point, I would just bring the raw video in yeah. and edit it that way. Okay, cool. All right, so for somebody doing business videos or maybe a uh, digital marketing specialist who's using stuff like this for creating business videos, what, give us a summary of some of the, the best tools that they should be aware of. Well, I definitely think you could use iMovie okay. for that. Um, if you're needing just simple videos for your business, uh, you can actually add some text to it. Uh, you could add music if you want. You could actually add a voiceover. iMovie will do it. If you want to step up your game a little bit more, Kind Master may be one you want to look at. Um, or if you don't want to pay the monthly subscription, I would check out LumaFusion. Okay. There may be a steeper learning curve, but it may pay off more based on, on your needs. Okay. So there you have it. There's some of the best of the best video editing apps for iPhone. If we miss any that you've used that you really like, be sure to leave a comment below. Tell us which app you use and why you like it. Or if you're an Android user, be sure to let us know which apps you use and maybe even give us your take on the ones we just talked about. Great hanging out with you. I'm Evan once again. And I'm still Kevin. Still Kevin. <laughs> we'll catch you <laughs> next time.